All right, you guys. In this video, what I would like to do is uh, show you how to uh, prepare your computer for installing firmware on a GPS uh, GNSS receiver from Topcon or from Sokia. So I'm running Windows uh, 11 on my computer over here. It will work the same way with Windows 10 or Windows 7. So uh, the first thing that I usually do is, uh, depending on your receiver, go to the Topcon positioning or in the Sukia case, just go to sukia.com. I am going to uh, go into Americas over here and under Sukia Care, what you want to do is you want to pick your receiver. So in my case, what I'll be doing is I'm uh, updating the GRX3 receiver. So I'll click this and down here you will see there's a lot of useful links here and these useful links are not just uh, software but also manuals, firmware and uh, other uh, useful links for you to you know administer your receiver. Now the same thing can be done by uh, logging in under your uh, user profile over here. So I have this already saved. We'll log in and under my Topcon there's also going to be a download um, link for your maybe Topcon receivers. So if we go into product, you might want to do uh, the sister products to the GRX3, which is the Hyper-V or VR, 100 Hyper-V R. Click it and you scroll down, hit the firmware software update, and you'll notice that this will take you to the page where you can also download, needless to say, uh, Topcon, versus Sukia, Sukia, you don't need to log in. Uh, Topcon, you actually have to have a login, but it is a free login, so it doesn't really cost you anything. But your first thing that you will have to do, and because I'm using a, a GRX3 receiver, I need to do this step from the download. Otherwise, you would do it. If you have a Hyper-VR or any other uh, Topcon product, you'd have to look on the correct page to download the necessary files from. But the one thing that I need is because I'm using a going to be using a USB cable, I need the USB drivers. And this says USB driver for Windows 7. And it sounds like it's wrong, but that's the correct driver even for Windows 10 or Windows 11. So I'll dial, download this. It's now downloaded. I can hit the open file. And what we will do is for the simplicity of the video, I'll just copy it out of the downloaded zip and we will just paste it onto the desktop over here. So I'll double click it, we'll say yes, install device, we'll say install, and this is now finished, which means if you did this right, when you connect your GPS receiver, uh, it should be recognized as a USB device. So this is your first prerequisite for uh, doing a firmware update on the receivers.